Where? At Bernier's. Let's go back and I'll show you. No, I believe you, dear. Yes, I understand. Well, but perhaps you will stop for breakfast. Yes, of course, dear, but not in the heart of Paris. Oh, it's too expensive in the heart of Paris. Oh no, dear, but it's too late for breakfast round here. Why, it's almost lunch time. Besides, it's not romantic here. begin with radishes. They are charming this morning. Yes, I'll have some radishes. And after the radishes, madame, we have a boiled ham that is beyond the power of comparison. Oh, what a pig it must have been. <laughs> ham, that's the suggestion. And after the pig, madame, after the boiled ham, madame, we have grapes. Grapes just arrived from Fontainebleau. Each grape, a kiss, madame, a kiss. <laughs> oh, delicious. <laughs> yes, grapes, by all means. Well, oh, they should be good, they cost enough. And she is my oh, daughter. All your daughter. Oh, and now it is Easter vacation. She will learn to sing and to dance and to play the piano. Hmm? Oh, yes, my daughter will learn to do everything. She will become a brilliant lady. Uh, she will make a brilliant marriage. A brilliant marriage? Oh, will I? Just wait and see. Um, Waiter. Oh, yes, madame. What do you suggest to eat? Why, I... And never mind, bring me some radishes, ham, and grapes. Yes, yes, madam. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, madam. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir, what will you have? What are you talking about? I've given you my order, radishes, ham, and grapes. What's the matter with this waiter? What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hurry the order. Yes, sir. What a fool. Just a fool. Hey, hey, don't sweep. Don't sweep now. What's the matter? So sad, you see. Oh! Albert! I'm sorry, but there's a great lady waiting for breakfast. I'm in a great hurry. A great lady, huh? How dare you push my books off? Well, I didn't know they were yours. Well, that's no excuse. Pick them up at once. Ah. Of all the waiters we've ever had in this cafe, you're the clumsiest, the more stupid, the most... You're just a fool. I'm sorry. Doing with that fancy coat on? Where's your working coat? The other one has to be cleaned. Why, well, it was just clean. Well, it still has a spot on it. Oh, I don't believe you. Albert, you think that fancy coat makes you look like a gentleman? Well, it doesn't. You're a waiter, and no matter what you wear, you'll always look like a waiter. Well, I won't wear the other coat. You're discharged. Again? Well, when do we eat? Waiter! Waiter! Come back again, because you haven't a chance. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, ah. What's the use? A man 
as a ghost to watch himself into another. What if the roof and fret about? Something he should forget about. What's the use to rest the news whenever clouds begin to gather? King as well as clown, or have their ups and downs. It's a great life if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you don't lose heart, the hardest part is the first hundred years. It's a great life if you stick to it, get a great life with a kick to it. If you come up strong, it won't be long till the sunshine appears. If you let him beep you, Mr. Gloom will knock you cold. Get him, never let him, use the well known strangle hold. Oh, it's a great life, if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you do all well, what the heck, it's still a great life. <laughs> it's a great life, if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you don't lose now, the hardest part is the first hundred years. It's a great life, if you stick to it, yes, a great life with a kick to it, if you come up strong, it won't be long till the sunshine appears. If you let him beep you, oh, Mr. Blue will knock you cold, and get him, never let him, use the well-known stranglehold, oh, it's a great life, if you want weaken, you're a great guy, if you want weaken, if you do all well, what the heck, it's still a great life. Please. Oh, but by the day, would I speak with you? Yes, madam. I want to find out something about your, uh, your waiter, Albert. Yes, madam. My reason is, we've been engaged for three months. But he refuses to marry me until he makes more money. Now, if you don't intend to raise his salary, I shall have to get him another job somewhere. I'm sure I don't intend to wait forever either. Oh, but my dear lady, Albert is very well paid. Oh, but Papa, you mean very much awful paid. Sure. But all he gets is 300 francs. But he gets 500 francs. 500? 500. 500. Five hundred, five hundred. Oh, the dirty liar. And to think of me falling for it. Ha, what a sap I am. I ought to know by now that every man's a liar. But wait. Wait till I get a hold of him. Ha, just wait. Well, goodbye. Oh, are you a musician? Yeah. What of it? My daughter wants to learn to sing and play. Are you a teacher? I'm the best teacher in Paris. Oh, what a liar. We have a piano upstairs. Oh, a very good one. And now you'll try out her voice. Yes, and I'll see you just as soon as I return from the barbershop. <laughs> yes. Oh, Paul. Paul, I'm in trouble again. In love again? No, no, no. They told me there was a beautiful lady here for breakfast, Albert. Beautiful? Oh, but they told you nothing. She was magnificent. Ah, if I were rich. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Did, uh, did she like you? No, she didn't even look at me. She doesn't seem to like weather. But she was great. She reminded me of those ladies I saw in the garden my father used to keep for Count Caspian when I was a child. That marvelous garden with the fountain and the great pool in the middle and the ladies, those lovely ladies, walking around in their silk gowns, with their tiny parasols, and nothing else to do all day, just walk, walk around. Oh, don't stop. Oh, but Paul, I'm going a long way. I smell it in the air. And that's why they don't like me, I'm not one of them. They may take lessons, and lessons, and lessons, and lessons. They always be common people. And I am the son of a gardener. Mila. Are you really going to marry that waiter? Why not? Try this. wanting to marry a waiter. Try this. And that waiter of all the 
about something very important. You're right. I do. I want you to find someone for me at once. Find somebody? Yes. A waiter. His name is Albert Lorifler. And where shall I find him? Don't ask me. I'm asking you. And you mean to say that he's just a waiter? Well, as waiters come and go, he's some waiter. He's just been left a million francs. A million francs, sir? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. But uh, was the name Albert Lorifler? I telephone the waiter's union and see if they know of such a waiter. Yes, sir. Then yes. make it snappy. I can't get out of Paris quicker. Yes, sir. Leave it to me, sir. Right away, sir. Leave it to me, sir. Uh, you have the papers with you. Oh, yes. Here they are. Thank you. Oh, Count Caspion. Mm hmm The Count and I were great pals. We took trips around the world together. I see. Now, this waiter, Albert, was the son of the Count's gardener. Uh -huh. At least, he was supposed to be. Yes, yes. And, for all I know, he was. Well, of course he was. Oh, of course, of, of course. course. Mr. Philibert! Mr. Philibert! Mr. Philibert! Oh, 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 what the devil, who is it? I have great news. I've got to see you at once. Now you will try to stop me from marrying Yvonne. Now I am rich, and I can make you rich. We can both make a fortune this time in two hours. Have you gone crazy? Have I? <laughs> I'll show you how crazy I am. Listen to this. The idea is to... Uh... Come on. We've got to be alone. But I'm more soap. Never mind the soap. We have no time to lose. The idea is this. This morning at the lawyer's office... Now that here's what has happened. Your waiter Albert has just inherited one million francs. A million francs? Yes. Oh, what luck. And lucky for us, too. We're going to get 400,000 francs out of that million. I'll say that'll help some. But I don't understand. If Albert really has a million francs, how is that going to help me? Because Albert will never continue to be a waiter if he has a million francs. No, he'll just quit. Of course. But before he quits, we'll get him to sign a long contract that will have a great raise in salary. A great raise in salary? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. You won't even have to pay him a cent. But he will have to pay you 400,000 francs when he quits. But if Albert is so rich, why should he sign such a contract? Because he's going to sign the contract before he knows he's rich. But won't Albert be suspicious when I offer him this tremendous raise in salary? Aha! Uh -huh. I thought of that too. So while I'm drawing up the contract, you get him drunk. Wait. Now! All right, let's go. Here he is. Have you forgotten your position altogether? Come on, fill the glasses. Come on. All right, all right. I'll fill the glasses. All right, all right. All right. Well, I wish you remember this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm going to show you how much I like you. You are going to do a job for me that no waiter ever did for me before. Here, here's the key to the wine cellar. Go down there and test the wine. Mind, I want every barrel tested. I will not have any bad wine in my cellar. You understand? Hmm? There'll be a lot of testing. All right, Albert. You help yourself. Hmm? All right. I will. For your sake. In the wine cellar. By the time we're ready for him, he is sure to be drunk. It will be easy to fool him. Good. How long did you make the contract for? Fifteen years? No. Twenty years? Oh. I listened to how well I did it. Yes, yes, yes. A mutual understanding that if either one of the parties breaks this contract, that one must pay to the other one a sum of 400,000 francs. Oh. And when we split the 400,000, I can marry Eva. Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. I hope he tastes a lot of barrels. We love fun, the girl in my mind. The girl we love, I think. Maybe she's a jewel, and yet she might be. Ah, uh, uh, now, Miss Burgundy, you're the last of the whole family that's left to taste. All your sisters are fine and healthy. Don't disappoint me. Hmm? And remember this. If wine doesn't flow through your veins like it ought to, you go right out in the ash can. Oh, oh, me, Burgundy. Oh, you are the flower of your family. You are. You are ideal. Will I ever find the girl in my mind? Oh, the girl who is my ideal. Maybe she's a dream, and yet she might. How is the boss? Albert the boss, that's me. Oh, Albert. The boss. Never address me different. Say. <laughs> Go and wash the dishes. Philibert sent me to get you. Philibert? Yes, Philibert. Ah, oh, Philibert. Let's go. No, no, he mustn't see you like this. But he's my friend. No, he'll be wild. He likes me. He'll fire you. He loves me. No, wait a minute. Hey, Philibert. Hey, Philibert. Hey, Philibert. Hey, Philibert. All the barrels are all right. Oh, good, my friend. Hey, you see, eh? he's my friend. We are fast forever. Forever and a day. Oh, they're both drunk. Oi, 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 you. And now, Albert, I'm really going to show you how much I like you. Yes, you are getting 6,000 francs a year. Yes. Bless you. Ah, but now it's going to be different. Ooh. Oh, yes. It is too much. No, 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 no. It is not enough. I am going to raise you to 10,000 francs a year. Oh, no. Yes, it's all right, Albert. I am glad to do it. Oh, no. I want, I want 20,000 a year. But Albert. But Albert. And if you are with me, I'll make it, I'll make it 50. <laughs> you know, I accept 
20,000. See, I changed it. I changed it. I wish I was drunk. And now, there's nothing left to do but sign. Here is the contract. Sign here. Where? There. There? No. There, there, there. There, there, there. Albert, aren't you going to read it first? No, you. You, you read it. <laughs> I can think better when I listen. Well, you, 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 you'd better sit down. Uh, I'll do the thinking. <laughs> he thinks I'm drunk. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> I'm just gay, that's all. <laughs> oh, Ivan! It's a fine contract, Albert. You get 20,000 francs for 20 years. But there's one thing I don't understand. Don't be silly. It's all right. What is, what is it you don't understand, Paul? Well, here, this, this forfeit clause. It says, if you were discharged, Mr. Philibert must, must pay you 400,000 francs. Yes? But, but if you, if you break the contract, you must pay Mr. Philibert 400,000 francs. <laughs> oh, but for, for it, it's all in my favor. Why, why should I want to, to leave Philippe? And how, how could I pay him if I did? Oh, for, for, don't be silly. Ooh. I'm sure Philbert wants me to have all the best of it. Don't you, sweetheart? That's the whole idea of it. <laughs> that, that's the whole idea of it. And now, let's find. Right here. There. No. There. There's something about it that seems funny to me. Ah, Albert! Who I'm looking for? You want it right away over at my office. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want trouble today. No, 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 it must be Edwiga. She wants to sue me. No, 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 no. It's great news. Good news? It's wonderful news. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll breeze over. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I feel, I feel like like flying! <laughs> I have come to tell you some wonderful news. Then you did discharge Albert. Oh, no, no. That's unimportant. Shadow has asked to marry you. And I have told him that I will be proud to have him for my son-in-law. But I thought you wanted me to marry a rich man. That's just it. Shadow is rich. He has just made 400,000 francs. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. Where is my money? Here are the papers. But my money, my money, where is it? I want to touch it. I want to look at it. There's a matter on the bank. Thank you. Oh, oh, what a day. What a day. Where is my hat? I've lost my hat. Never mind. I'll buy a hundred hats. I'll buy you a hat. Oh, oh, I'm a millionaire. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 o
than ever. <laughs> and you're about to discharge me, eh? Poor girl. She has fouled me for the last time. Now I'm going. No, 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 Albert. It's a contract. If you go now, you will have to pay Mr. Philbert 400,000 francs. Oh, but Mr. Philbert wouldn't hold me to that, would you, Mr. Philbert? But Albert, a contract is a contract. Oh, I see. You're a crook, eh? You're a crook. How dare you call my father a crook? Yes, and a cheap crook, too. Oh, but don't worry, I won't crowd out of it. I will pay. Hey, people, what are you crazy? <laughs> Anything to get out of here. Goodbye and good riddance. Goodbye. And give my regards to Caro. And when you get married, let me know and I'll send you a rattle. You can't laugh at Mr. Caro anymore. He didn't make a million francs today, but he made 400,000. And he really made it. The biggest fool in the world can inherit money, but it takes brains to make it. Caro made 400,000 francs today? Yes, he did. Didn't he, Papa? Oh, I see. It was his idea. What are you talking about now? Why don't you go? And now, now that he's got 400,000, you will marry him. Why not? Even you mustn't marry him. Oh, mustn't I? You'll be unhappy. Let me alone. He's no good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well? Goodbye, Albert. I hope you have a happy time spending your money. I'm, I'm not going. What? No, sir, not a chance. I won't be beaten by you, Cruz. I'll keep my million francs, and I'll make you pay me 20,000 more every year for 20 years. <laughs> I'll be here every day. I'll be the millionaire waiter. Good evening, madam. Good evening. I ordered the table. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, right here. No, no, I want one of these tables. No, no, my dear, not there. It's too noisy. Too noisy. Oh, stop worrying. Nobody will see you here. You don't know. Everybody will see me here. Well, you're not everybody to me. Sit down. And you'll do exactly what I say, or it's good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm entering a new world. This morning a waiter, and tonight a millionaire. Oh, 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 God. Well, we go out every night, eh? We see everything. We go everywhere. Well, I hope I don't fall and hurt this too. We'll have to pay extra if anything happens to him. Whoa. Thank you, dear. Wait a minute for the coat, please. Put this in it. Albert, what's that? This is an alarm clock. This will turn every morning at 6.30. And that will give me half an hour to get to the little cafe every day for 20 years from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, no, no, this group won't have any of my money. No, now, come on, boy, come on. <laughs> My beautiful lady, there. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. I've got to speak to her. I've got now, to speak to her. Wait a minute, Albert. I've wait, got to speak wait, to her. Okay. Now, listen. Albert. Albert, sit here. No, 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 but I know this lady. This is the third time today 
Santana ran into her. Take him away. Look over. No, no, Santana really ran into her. Don't you remember when we bumped together in the lawyer's office? We did what together? We bumped like this. Boom. <laughs> you see, she knows me. Let's uh, yeah. see, you, you had just left a million francs. Yes. Of course. Yes, sir. Well, this is delightful. Oh, madam. Yes, sir. Sir, the pastry is not in this. By all means. Uh, yes, sir. And champagne, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, what's no, the uh, hurry up. We are, we are hungry. Oh, what's the matter with these waiters? Oh, oh wait, it's the same. They're just a lot of fools. But what a fool I am not to recognize you. Yes, of course. So stupid of me. <laughs> and you think we saw each other once before today? <laughs> you, you, you didn't see me. I saw you. I saw you and I admired you from, uh, from a great distance. How charming. <laughs> and you say you came into this fortune only today? Yes, why? Right. This morning I woke up just a... Uh, just a man of moderate means. And now all this wealth. Oh, how marvelous. <laughs> what are your plans? The travel, of course. Oh, of course, of course. No, I won't. I won't either. At least for 20 years. 20 years? Hmm? Why? Because uh, I want to see Paris first. <laughs> you don't want to miss anything, no, do you? No, I want. I want everything. And when do you begin this quest? For everything? Just as soon as I can find a guide. What kind of a guide, my friend? Whom, whom would you suggest? If I were you? If you were me. Oh, someone like me, if I were you. Then, then if I were you? I would be a guide. Just a minute, Paul. This is uh, where you live. Yes, but I hardly recognize it. Everything looks so different. Loot. Daylight. Yes, dear. Our first night has come and gone. It was the first night, wasn't it? So pretty. And there will be more nights? Oh, so many more. And days, Albert. I will meet you for lunch tomorrow. For lunch. For lunch. Don't you want me to? Yes, of course, of course. What's that? It's an alarm clock. It's probably one of your neighbors getting up. <laughs> uh, at 6.30. Where shall we meet? For lunch. For lunch. For lunch. What do I have to do for lunch? Whom do I have to have lunch with? Uh, you know it. Who is it, Paul? The, uh, the American ambassador. Yes, of course. How charming. I would love to meet him, dear. Well, I'll see what I can do about this, because he, he's a very busy man. <laughs> well, then we'll meet afterwards, about three, and take a drive. Three? Oh, I wish I could. Darling. Well, what do you have to do then? Oh, at three o'clock, you have a very important engagement. Uh, uh, what's his name, Paul? The Spanish ambassador. Yes, of course. Well, my dear. <laughs> you see, I'm in constant touch with diplomats. I'm not one myself, but I always keep in touch with them, that's all. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. So am I, dear. Well, then I probably can't meet you until tea time. Tea time. Fine. Around seven. No, Albert, around five. Oh. Now, don't tell me you have to meet any ambassadors around five. No, of course, of course, but, but uh, I have to meet somebody at five. I have to meet somebody. Oh, my, my memory is getting terrible. Who is it, Paul? I don't know. Oh, oh well. 
Don't go away angry, darling. I know, but... Darling. If you don't want me, why don't you say so? Oh, but aren't we going to have a nice dinner together? At your apartment? Yes. <laughs> Where do you live? I, I, I live... Uh... Well, dear, will you have to ask all that? <laughs> no, no, no. No, but I've just moved, you see. And with my memory, you don't expect me to remember that, eh? <laughs> no, dear, I don't. But it's probably the new apartment the Chinese ambassador just moved out of. No. No. He just moved in. <laughs> you see, we are great friends. We, we live together. <laughs> Good night, darling. I'll phone you. Uh, but Albert... Oh, uh, shut up. You're a great help with your ambassador. Oh, don't be cross. I, I did my best. It's all right. Don't worry. But we've got to find an apartment immediately. Yes, we must. Oh, for it has been a beautiful night, eh? And look at that beautiful dawn. How still it is. Paris has crept into bed. And he's asleep. At last. Oh, come on. It, it's time to go to work. Oh. oh, oh. The sunshine I feel In his view, let him be few In the room we look you cold Yet he never let him Use the well-known triangle hole In the great night, if you don't We can hear a great gun If you want, we can if you do Oh, what's the night? Hey, you! It's in the right side I told you on Monday, you could have one drawer for your shirt. On Tuesday, they're in the flower box. On Wednesday, I nearly poured soup in your silk hat. On Friday, there isn't enough room left for a spoon. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on. Ow. Oh. Hey, what do you birds think you're doing? Oh, to be a bird. With just a nest. You take Mr. Philibert's breakfast to him. Yes. No. It can't be done. Good morning, sir. Your breakfast, sir. Where's Albert? Very busy. Good morning! Oh, what a terrible sight you are to my eyes. Oh, but I have good news. Up, up, up. I really have. Ivan, I have great news. Oh, really? Yes, really, really. We are going to get that money from Albert. Oh. Is he going to break the contract? He's sure to. He's living the pinch that kills. Work all day, play all night. Ha! In another week he'll be a nervous wreck. Where did you see him? Last night at a nightclub. He was having supper with one of the most beautiful women in Paris. Oh, I give him credit for that, all right. Lots of men would like to have that woman. And she belongs to him, all right. Well, my dear Keno, let us hope that she will weaken him. It's a great life if you don't weaken. You're a great guy if you won't weaken. If you don't lose half, the hey, hardest hey, part hey. is the first hundred years. There's a lot of guests in there for breakfast this morning, and you better get busy, Albert, or you'll break your contract. I've got to get busy, all right. I've got to think of some scheme that will get me out of here. And I can't get out soon enough. I'm always in danger that she'll find out that I'm a waiter, and then I'll lose her. Sure. <laughs> It's a great life if you don't. Oh, Paul. Paul. I've got an idea. All I have to do is to make them fire me. Why, of course, if they fire me, I don't have to pay. Oh, oh, oh you just watch me. Oh, oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and good morning. Never mind the good mornings. I'm not here to talk. I'm here to eat. Yes, sir. I'll be right with you. Well, 
Well, what are you doing now? Why does he come here? Waiter, waiter! Albert, what are you doing? Don't you realize this is breakfast? Oh, yes, yes, how stupid of me. Uh, what would I have for breakfast? Uh, you bring me radishes, ham and grapes. Waiter! Oh, waiter! Oh, 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 I understand your little game now, Albert, but it won't work. So you refuse to wait on these people. Well, that means that you've broken the contract. So sit still and play your cards and I will wait on them. No, 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 I will wait on them. I will do it. I bet you will, I bet you will. Waiter, waiter! Wait wait coming, sir, coming. What's the matter with you? When I call waiter, I want action. I'm sorry, sir. I am sorry. Oh, what will you have, sir? Well, let's see. Uh, how about a watermelon to start with? Yes, sir. We have no watermelons today. What did you say? I said, sir, that we have nothing but bananas. And when I think of it, uh, yes, sir, we have no bananas today. <laughs> Why, what are you talking about? You think this says watermelon on the menu here? So it is. Oh, my mistake, sir. My mistake. Raspberries for two. <laughs> That's enough. We will go somewhere where we can have breakfast. Well, do we get any service here? What is this? A lot of ways, sir. What will you have? I want a cognac and a large coffee. Immediately. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look what you're doing, you fool! Proprietor! Proprietor! What is it? What well, look for yourself! But Albert, you're using the wrong glasses! No, no, but I'm doing you a great favor, sir. A favor? What are you talking about? Yes, I'm giving you a large cognac because it's half water, you see? And I'm giving you a small coffee because this morning the coffee has been made out of tobacco juice. I've had enough! Oh, but Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, not another word! And I apologize to your waiter. If it wasn't for his honesty, I would have been eaten. And I'll spread the news that the little cafe is a dirty duck. Oh! Oh! Take your apron off at once! You're fired! Great! Hooray! No, 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 I didn't cry! Oh, very well, then I will continue with my duty. Oh, Albert, I want to see you as you should be. Oh, but don't worry, you've seen nothing yet. Oh, don't <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will recommend these nice hors d'oeuvres. They are delicious. Who will have some? Yeah. Here I come, everybody! Come on! Come on! Come Will you have your breakfast now, sir? No, you scandal! You crook! Oh, you should eat something, Mr. Philbert. Get out of my sight! Very well, I'm fired! No, no, no! I didn't fire you! Go down to the kitchen! All right, sir, then I'll see you at lunch. Yes, I'm sure he will. He loves it there. 
Well, he won't love it tonight, Paul. I'm going to tell her he's a waiter. Yes. Yes, I knew you'd tell her just as soon as you found it out. How did you know it? Because I knew you'd be so jealous. Jealous? Of course. What am I jealous about? Because you love him. Love him? Of course. Love him? And all I've ever done is to fight him. Of course. Because you love him. But when he sees you dressed up like that, I'm, I think he'll realize the only reason he ever fought with you was because he loves you. Ain't love funny? Where is he? 
Lady. Over there. Go right over and tell him. I don't feel like it now. Hmm? I do. My revenge is here. I'll forgive you the sun, darling, but cheer up. I'm all right, dear. I feel much better now. Good evening, Albert. <laughs> Why, my old friend, Mr. Fever. Yes, your old friend, Mr. Philippe. <laughs> well, how, how is everything? <laughs> everything is going to be all right, I think, for me. What do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, but you haven't introduced me to your friend. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Berger, I wanted to meet my old friend, Mr. Philibert. How do you do? Oh, so pleased to meet you. I'll be right back, darling. Albert! No, I have a very scientific matter to explain to this man. I'll be right back. <laughs> he has a very scientific matter to explain to <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Mr. Filbert, first of all, I want to ask you a question. Yes, Albert? What is it you want to know? I want to ask you if you ever got a punch right on the nose. Hmm? Now, the scientific difference between a punch landing on half of the nose or on the whole of the nose is amazing. You see, a blow, a blow landing on the side of the nose often pushes the nose over to the other side of the face. But a blow landing right on the nose leaves nothing of the nose at all. But that is not all. Along with the disappearance of the nose, there is a sensation absolutely unique. And it can only be felt to be realized. You see? So now if you will excuse me, I'll hurry back because this lady thinks that I am a gentleman. Did you meet me, darling? The man you just spoke to, what is he doing? Yes, what is he doing? Don't you play any wrong notes. Don't play off it. And as long as you're writing, it might just as well play as writing. What are you going to sing? A beautiful song called Poo in Springtime. Oh, that sounds terrible. Can't you sing something else? Hey, don't you tell me what to sing. I've been singing cuckoo for 25 years. I'm too old a bird to have you tell me where to get off. Well, go ahead and get it over with. All right, but get that face of yours out of my sight and I'll start. Come on now, everybody ready. I'm sorry I've been such a bore, darling. But now I'm going to be different. We talk of nothing but gaiety. We'll stay here all night. All night long. <laughs> That voice drives me crazy. You go first. Albert, you must calm yourself. Waiter. Yes, madam. What no, is... No, dear. I was calling the waiter. Oh, yes. Yes, madam. Go and tell that singer to stop singing. There's a very important man here, and his singing makes him extremely nervous. Yes, Albert, dear, sit down. Yes. Sit down. That Albert, voice. what is the matter? That voice. Don't you realize, darling, if you're not careful, you'll get that nervous. Voice. It is just an Albert here. Please. That voice. Down, darling. Oh. Wait a minute. Say, just who is this important man I'm making nervous? Show him to me. Albert! Excuse me, darling. I forgot to wash my hands. What is my job? Albert! Albert! What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, I, I'm working, of course. Oh, what a lovely coincidence. I'm a singer here, and you're a waiter here. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> but, Albert, there are too many pretty women here to suit me. I warn you, don't you let me catch you flirting. Oh, you won't. You won't. <laughs> if I can help it. Albert seems very nervous tonight. Oh, he's terribly nervous. And I'm tired of sitting alone. May I join you now? Oh, please. please. Won't you? And there'll be room for Albert, too. Uh, waiter. They're calling you. No, no. That is not my table. Oh. <laughs> Albert! Come on! Who is that woman calling you so familiarly? Uh, I don't know. Just a woman. Who? A woman. Did you, did you call, dear? You said enough to that poor singer. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Sit down. No, I think I, I had better go and apologize. No, no, don't bother. Sit down. Sit down. Don't pull me down. Perhaps she doesn't like the present company. Oh, that's absurd. <laughs> I think you're all very charming. Then why don't you sit down? I'm, I'm going to sit down. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to go to sit down. I'll be right back. Were you going to sit down with those guests? Don't be absurd. I heard that woman tell you to sit down. No, you know, you know they're a bit drunk, you see? And the thing is very cute for a waiter to sit down. <laughs> I forbid you to sit down. Did I forbid you to stand around like this? Now go ahead and sing. Yes, she has a beautiful voice. Oh, I beg pardon. I didn't notice that you were talking to her. Why is that manager so polite to you? I, I saved his life tonight. You, you almost stand on a stove. Albert! There's that woman calling you again. I will have to go, and you'd better go and sing. Yes, <laughs> Well, what will you have now? What? what? Albert, I'll give you one more chance. If you don't sit down, I'll get up, and you'll never see me again. Did, did, you, try, did you try the brandy here? It's one of the best. All right. One more chance. <laughs> it's a good evening, eh? <laughs> Oh, I've got a cramp in my leg. Oh, darling, you're so terribly nervous tonight, dear. Please. Take your hands off of his head. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. I'm telling you to take your hands off that waiter. Waiter? Yes, waiter. Albert, what's she talking about? Stand up. No, I'd rather sit down. But Albert, she calls you a waiter. She's crazy with the heat. You're crazy with the heat. Crazy with the heat, eh? I'll show you. Where's the manager? Why, she's a millionaire, it's Albert Lewis Law. He's the most famous man about town. She's mistaken him for somebody else. Why, of course she has. I ought to know. Why, everybody knows Albert Lewis Law. He's, He's one, one of the most famous, famous men in Paris. Paris. This girl knows all about him. Tell that blonde thing she's making love to a waiter. I wouldn't tell that blonde thing anything. What do I care what she does? How dare you call me a blonde thing? I'll call you what's the next. She's bad enough, but you're, you're maybe right. What? This thing works for a living, but you, you'll take every cent he has, and then do you know what you'll do? You'll kick him out in the street and forget he was ever alive. Albert, do you hear what she's saying? Get up and throw her out. Come on. Hey, hey, leave her alone. What? Leave her alone. Come on, I said you. against me. Come in. What have you got? Two gentlemen are falling, sir. Oh, it's probably the police. Mr. Henri Plouvier, General de Carodet. What shall I tell the gentlemen, sir? Tell them I've gone out of town. Mr. Lorapin! Mr. Lorapin! Mr. Lorapin! I want you to meet General de Caradet. My dear sir. Very good, sir. We are here on a very solemn mission. The General will explain. Mr. Lorapin. Would you like a chair, General? Please. Mr. Lorapin, I have come here with Mr. Plumier on behalf of our friend, Mr. Gastonet. Last night, or this morning to be exact, you grossly insulted Mr. Gastonet. And as one gentleman to another, he expects satisfaction. Oh, dear. A, a duel, General? A duel. You, you, you don't mean, you don't mean with sword? No, I do not. Oh, good. I mean with guns. Oh. The place selected for this duel is Versailles. The time, six o'clock tomorrow morning. We will dispense with the meeting of the seconds until we meet at the field. Mr. Fugier and myself will second Mr. Gastonet. And we hope that the seconds you choose will be equally distinguished. We bid you good morning, sir. And await your pleasure. They await our pleasure. Oh, 
Paul. Well, what am I going to do? I never fought a pistol in my life. Neither have I. We couldn't hit them between us. And second, where shall I find any second? I'll be one of your seconds, Albert. That ought to help. Oh, Albert. Did you think of a way I could get out of it? No, I thought of a second second. Aren't you thoughtful? Pierre, the cook, will be your second, Albert. A couple of hot seconds. We ought to do well. But Pierre is an old soldier. He'll teach you how to shoot. But what are you so enthusiastic about? Where do you think I'm going tomorrow? Me and my second. Speak in a second, you better hurry. You'll, you'll be late to the little cafe. You're right. Don't let me be late. It looks like my last day. My last day. One, two, three. Now watch me, Albert. And remember, the most important thing in a duel is not to shoot first, but to aim straight. Now see how slow I aim the gun before I fire. Bang. Now, see? Pierre, Pierre, why do you keep aiming at me that the duel's over? What's the difference? It ain't loaded. Oh, all right, all right. Go ahead. If he shoots first, what's the use of me shooting at all? Listen, Dumbbell, he's a banker. You're a waiter. Is that right? That's right. All right. Now that means that at best you're both a couple of rotten shots. Speed ain't gonna mean a thing. It's the guy that takes the longest time to aim the gun going to bring home the bacon. Oh, yes. Yes, I see what you mean. All right. Now let me see you do it, Albert. And don't let me see you do it one second faster than I did. Take your places. What are you doing? Good morning. Albert, what are you doing with that gun? I'm going to find a duel tomorrow morning. A duel? Tomorrow morning. That's funny. What's funny about it? Because it's a good joke. But it's time to stop fooling and get to work. I get to work after I've done a little practicing. As a waiter, you need plenty of practice. Suppose you start on these tablecloths. I don't believe you. Places. Oh, Albert. Are you ready? Well, stop shoving me. Huh? Ready. Uh, I can hardly wait. One, two, three. Take your time. I'd like to take a shot at something right now. Stop talking and take your time. And I could hit anything. Only one hand on it. I'd have to be in his shoes tomorrow. Aim and take your time. Oh, oh. Just watch me. Fire. Bang. Hey. I guess it was loaded. And look where I hit. I missed him by a mile. Well, we're here first, anyway. Hmm? And something tells me we're going to leave last. Don't worry, Albert. Nothing can go wrong if you take your time. <clears throat> hmm. He's having a good time, eh? Yes, I see. I see. What do you see? I don't see anything. This will probably be the spot. Don't you think that I'm right, Paul? Ah! I didn't hear what you said. I said this would be the spot. No, no, I won't do it here. What's the matter with it? I don't like the looks of it. Why not? It's the most level patch of ground around here. That's the trouble with it. It's too level. It would be much better if it was more hilly. I suppose, Albert, you would rather fight behind a tree. I will if he will.
Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Where is your other second? Right over there. Uh, good morning. It's all of Kindly introduce me to your seconds. General de Kerodeg, this is Mr. Pierre Bourdin. How do you do, sir? How do you do, sir? General de Kerodeg, this is Mr. Paul Michel. How do you do, sir? I'm glad to meet you, General. Gentlemen, I want you to meet Mr. Bouvier and Mr. Gastonet. Gentlemen. 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 Mr. Lorifant. I want you to meet Dr. Lock, you may. Uh, greetings, Mr. Lorifant. Oh, doctor. Uh, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. 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 Uh, gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. Huh? What do we do next? Take your time, Albert. That's all you've got to do. Take your time. Uh, Mr. Bordon. Coming, General. <coughs> I'm going. No, no, Albert, it won't do any good now. It's too late. I could run faster than anybody on this field. Uh, they might shoot you in the back. Albert, Albert. I just learned from the general that the banker is not the man that I thought he was. Do you mean to say that he's afraid? Afraid? I should say not. Before he settled down in the banking business, he was an officer in the 22nd Hussars. And this will make his sixth duel. Oh. Therefore, you must forget everything that I told you yesterday. Your only chance is to shoot first. You cannot afford to lose a second. Hold me up. <laughs> Mr. Bordon! Uh, right away, General. Remember, Albert, your only chance is speed. My only chance is gone. My only chance is to, is to face it bravely. That's all. What's this, Doctor? Uh, bandages, Mr. Lorison. Oh. And what, what's this, Doctor? Uh, forceps. What are forceps for? Uh, forceps are what we prove for the bullet with, sir. Oh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> and here we have the uh, ether, stretchers, in fact, everything we need for the wounded man. <laughs> That's nice, eh? Mr. Lorison, everything is ready. Your chief second has your pistol. He will give you your final instruction. Oh, one thing more, Mr. Lorimer. Yeah. The name and address of your nearest relative. Albert! 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 Who is this girl? Yvonne! Yes, Yvonne, you didn't expect me, did you? What are you talking about? Who are you? How dare you come here and interrupt these gentlemen? Oh, gentlemen, these gentlemen, you say, well, that's just the reason I'm here. You see this gentleman here? Oh, he'd have you all believe he's a gentleman, but he isn't. He's just a waiter. A waiter? What is she talking about? I'm talking about this waiter. My father's the proprietor of the little cafe, and Albert is our waiter. Is that the truth? Well, what of it? What of it? He admits it. He, he admits, admits it. it. What of it? Why, you miserable masquerading worm. You ought to be strung up to the nearest tree. How dare you come here and associate yourself with gentlemen? How dare you? General, this is unbelievable. I never showed a scotchy in my life. Oh, poor Albert. He did so want to be a gentleman. Get out of here. Get out of my sight. You mean to say that the duel is off? Of course it's off! You think I would fight with the waiter? But I'm not a waiter. I resign from the little cafe. And now let me tell you what I think of you. You're facing a man again. And take that! Oh, I have a kill you! Come on, get your gun! Brace it! Alfred! You don't understand! Ready! Go! Albert, 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 Sure, I will. How much do you want, General? Four hundred thousand?
Oh, you do love me, eh? I don't love you. You do love I me. I don't. But if you don't love me, what did you faint? I didn't faint. No, no, you didn't faint. No, you just went to sleep, eh? I, I just, just, <laughs> you just, just a minute. Just, I've always been crazy about you. How dumb you were not to know it. Oh, Yvonne, Yvonne, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. But don't call me dumb. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I wish I was a cuckoo. 